Hi people. We hope you're having an amazing day today. Now that we entered August, we're gradually preparing ourselves for the fall season, which is our favorite. Not only does it has one of the best holidays ever, Halloween, but also it witnesses the release of the majority of the show's new seasons. We don't even feel the need to mention the charming atmosphere of the season with lots of warm colors. All these things combined make the fall highly desirable for us. For the past few years though, the season has had special importance in our hearts as we have a new favorite show that we eagerly wait to come up with a new installment every single year. Yes, you guessed it right. We refer to Yellowstone that entered our lives back in 2018, and since then no other show has managed to replace its almighty position in our eyes. The series follows the Duttons, the most powerful family in Montana that owns one of the biggest and oldest ranches in the US. This might seem like a basic premise at first. However, the show is far from being basic. The main reason why is the uniqueness of the Duttons as a family. They are desperately dysfunctional, egoistic, and obsessed with their land to the point that their entire lives revolve around the local politics to preserve their ownership over the land. All the members of the Dutton family have distinguished characteristics. For instance, Beth is unhinged and has no fear in life, while Casey is more reserved and family-oriented. Jamie, on the other hand, is consumed by his own ambitions and insecurities, which made him the black sheep of the family. As you can see, none of the Dutton kids necessarily stand out with their desirable qualities. Instead, all we watch is their bold but highly realistic, very much human-like, problematic qualities. The reasons behind these people's over-the-top Machiavellian characteristics have been argued a lot within the fan base. Even though there are lots of opinions on the topic, we believe the strongest argument is the fact that their father, John Dutton, is a very complicated and difficult man. Thus, the children that he raised have inevitably been impacted by his antiques. John Dutton is portrayed by Kevin Costner, the Hollywood legend who seems like was born to play the part of John. Now that there are only a few months left until season 5 of the show, we believe the things Costner has to say about the show might provide us with concrete clues about what to expect from the future of the series. According to Costner, the new season will focus more on John's trouble to keep the land in his hand, which means there will be lots of political intrigue, strategy, and betrayal. It's been set up in a sense that there's so much pressure on what's coming for his land that he's going to have to do something. So we're going to see what he did and does to stay ahead of it. And I think that's what John Dutton has to do, what the pressures about the land have been always for this family got to hold on to it with a level of violence. The walls pressing on John are environmentalists, the Native American issues, politicians, and the public outcry for more land. So, he's dealing with really modern problems. We know from the flashback scenes that the Native Americans gifted the land to the Duttons for only seven generations, meaning that no matter how hard John tries, the Yellowstone land will slip away from his hands in the end. Still, we cannot wait to watch how he will cope with the failure as the ultimate strongman of the show. As far as the casting is concerned, we expect to welcome back Kevin Costner as John Dutton, Kelly Riley as Beth, Luke Grimes as Casey, Wes Bentley as Jamie, Cole Hauser as Rip, Kelsey as Spill as Monica, Brecken Merrill as Tate, Finn Little as Carter, and Gil Birmingham as Thomas Rainwater. The whole bunkhouse will also be back, including Forey Smith, Denim Richards, Ian Bohan, Ryan Bingham, and Jen Landon as Teeter. What are your thoughts on Yellowstone Season 5? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.